All right, YouTube. This is my first video ever. I'm doing this for the International Quarantine Car Show. And uh, Peg, this is for you, you meant fuck. This is my 1998 Land Rover Discovery. That's been turned into a tough truck slash mailbox smasher. All the above. Better known as Johnny Crash. It's a big piece of shit, but it takes a lot of abuse. And it's fun as fuck to drive. So for those of you that don't know, my name is Kyle. And, you know, every fucking Kyle's got to get sponsored by Monster. I mean, you know, what the fuck. So it's been a while since I started this piece of shit. And, uh... And yeah, so a lot of a lot of rain sometimes likes to get up into the end of the snorkel there, and it comes right down the rain gutter snorkel and in the fucking intake. So I don't know. It's been a while since I started, and it's been raining its ass off. Let's see here. Oh no, she's dry in there. Maybe I don't know. So we're gonna start this piece of shit up. See what the fuck happens. You know. So here we go. A little reminder when I'm racing. You know, my my beautiful fiance wrote that in there. You know, she's she's so thoughtful, isn't she? So let's see here. Uh, get this. Fucking, there we go. All right. All right, Peg. This is for you. Come on, you piece of shit. Oh yeah! Let the church commence. There you go, now that's how you do a fucking old start. Brakes? What's that? Yeah, fuck, we don't need brakes. Fuck that shit. Alright. Oh, look at that. Window goes down, still freaking awesome. Hell yeah, boy, that's what I'm talking about, scooter. Alright. See if I can finagle this bitch out of here. So you guys can get a little better look at the fucking hunk of shit that I call Johnny Crash. This thing has been freaking airborne four feet off the ground. And it's it's fun, man. I enjoy the shit out of this old thing. I, oh, let's see here. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, pig. No ketchup or mustard, but we'll give her all the mayonnaise. All right. So there you go, 196,000 on the ticker. And that's miles, damn it. Not no fucking kilos or kilometers or clicks or whatever the fuck you clowns say. Anyway, all right. So I got a hold of this piece of shit uh, about two years ago and fucking did some work on a guy's chicken house and he was gonna throw it the fuck away. So I said, well shit. If you're gonna chunk it, then, you know, I'll just, you know, waive the fee for working on your chicken house. So I got it home from him and we beat it around, had fun and made all kinds of dumb shit with it and done all kinds of stuff. And uh, so we've done a lot of work to it, as you can tell, you know, it's a highly modified vehicle. And we're gonna start off firstly with the most important thing out of that's done to this you know most important modification first fuck you you goddamn libtards fuck you libtards so there you go that's how you fucking do it hillary clinton can suck my dick anyway so it might be a land rover but as you can tell she identifies as a Jeep. That's right. She's gender neutral or fluid or whatever the fuck y'all call that shit. I don't know. So, got to get the the ye old hood strap locker down her because you don't want to be jumping it and shit and the fucking hood fly open. Watch this. Y'all don't know nothing about this. See, this is the great thing about Land Rovers. You know, they're, they're fancy vehicles. They're hoity-toity. You know, all the soccer moms. So, what's better for soccer moms than an automatic hood prop? If I can get that piece of shit open. So, you open this bastard up and look at there. Hot tits. Man, freaking automatic hood prop, dude. You can't beat that. So any of you guys that were 
guessing whether or not that that freaking rain gutter snorkel is actually functional or there you go bitches there you go you can't get more functional than that and it works and i've been through this thing and probably a little over the headlights right up to the headlights i know we were wheeling it one night and it got dark real fast you know how that shit goes so anyway got my custom homemade bumper with jack handles and i think that's a that's a flail mower deck drive shaft right there and then some lawnmower blades for added flavor and then you know case in case you run into anything we just said fuck it and weld that bitch with some good old-fashioned booger welds look at that well that's not too bad for old hot snot gun I guess I don't know fuck it so we welded that shit on there and she likes to knock over signs and mailboxes and other assorted goodies we ain't fucked it up yet. I can't. I can't believe it. It's held up pretty good for just being bubble gummed on there. You know, you look at that shit, and man, she's took some. She's took some fucking dingers. But you know, we uh, ain't got a whole lot of money in it. I think in the whole in the whole thing, I got like a hundred dollars, hundred fifty bucks in it, and most of that's fucking spray paint. To be quite honest with you. Uh, you know, so we did did a lot of weight reduction on the old girl. And of course, we took the exhaust off of it. And uh, one of the other things that's been done for performance enhancing, you know, some of you fucking whippersnappers might not know nothing about this, but there you go right there, son. That's your fucking hillbilly any level lift for you right there. So fucking whistling diesel can suck my left nut. That's a lift kit for you, fucking dicks. So that's how you do it. And that helps with the with the harsh landings and stuff when you're jumping it. Gotta love them fucking closed knuckle axles. Y'all might laugh at a fucking Land Rover, but these bitches are belts on. The fucking axle tubes and everything for what these things are, they are fucking awesome. And the little four liter V8 ain't much to it, but she sends real good and I mean shit, the only thing I've done to it is put a fucking belt on it, I think. I think that's all I've ever had to do to it. And that was the last time we took it out jumping it and stuff. So, you know, obviously, inside did the interior rearrangement. Got rid of all that extra weight up inside there. Got that all down, gutted the shit out of the floor. And then, you know, that leads us to our next thing. These awesome ass jack handle rock rails. I mean, dude, you can't get no better than that. You know, you're going to be jumping stuff or getting fucked up in ditches and shit. That's what you need. So you come around to the back. Ain't much in the back. Got my farm triangle on there. You know what I mean? Got to have that. That way, if you get pulled over, you can say it's a farm vehicle. So that's pretty fucking mint, I guess. That damn hitch has been in there for I don't know how fucking long. We tried to pull it out one night and couldn't get it out. So there she sits. But it's a fun little vehicle. We've done all the work to it. Um, trim the fenders and all that dumb shit. And uh, one night somebody got a little fucking crazy with the BB gun, I guess. And shot my fucking window out. Thanks, Nene, you dick. So now she's permanently up with a nice little piece of plexiglass in there. The great thing is, right now, aerodynamic. And if you got a fat friend, good to go son now you got a little bit more room slam the door she goes right back so this is my land rover we have fucking fun with it run the piss out of it beat it the fuck up and just have fun with it man it's a it's a good little vehicle it jumps really well we've uh need to put a little more weight in the back of her but she ain't too bad all right peg you say you like burnouts you want to see some thrashing so guess what motherfucker I'm gonna give it to you, and I'm going right to that tree. One of them trees, I don't know. I'm gonna put it on the fucking tree. I'm gonna do a burnout. I know it's not on asphalt, but it's all wheel drive. So, what the fuck? White boy can only do what a white boy can do, you know what I mean? Make the best of a short situation. I mean, I mean a bad situation, not short. That, that's, I'm not insinuating anything with that. There we go, tickle it baby, tickle it. little cheech action for you oh yeah all right all right pexter let's see what this fucking honk of shit could do 
let's see here oh yeah we'll go right over here right behind the tractor implement so I don't fuck up my grass <laughs> grass more like fucking weeds all right let's see what this piece of shit can do I think that might have been the fan. Yeah, she wasn't happy with whatever the fuck it was. All right, let's try and go over this way a little bit maybe now. There we go. under there I was doing a burnout on. I guess it was a piece of concrete maybe. Who the fuck knows? Nah, just hard ground. Well, that's the way I like it anyway. She rubs a little bit, I guess. Well, fuck it. So that's my fucking hunk of shit that I've got and enjoy beating the piss out of it. I got some pictures I'm gonna submit so that way y'all can see this bitch. Oh, the f fucking automatic. No way. All right, so you push that. No way. Oh, shit. I'll be fucking damned. Hot tits. I didn't know the fucking door lock still worked. That's all right. This fucking piece of shit's still good, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, Peg, I hope you choose me, man. You're a mint fuck. Vice Grip Garage is awesome. Any of you guys that or seeing this for the first time, make sure you check out fucking Vice Grip Garage, Zip Ties and Bias Plies, and of course, the man who putting this shit on, fucking the boss. Them guys are mint as fuck. They are awesome. They teach you some good shit, some bad shit, and some okay shit, depending on which ones you watch. You check, you pick. I don't give a fuck who takes what title, but you know, y'all pick who fucks up what. Let's check and see if I push the fucking fan shroud back up in this bitch. Because I heard her grinding. Oh yeah! A little bit. A little bit there. A little, little, little hanky-pangy. Yeah, she'll be alright. She'll fucking send though. Yeah, she'll fucking send. Alright y'all, take it easy. Peace.